and welcome to Patricia's Orchids. Today's video will be my current blooms and the video on how I treat Fusarium. Last year I started to treat all new orchids with Fusarium. Call me a pessimist, but Fusarium has been around a long time and is common in soil. Spores can stay viable for years and the most common methods of cross-contamination are through water, particular overhead watering, lack of sterilization, and pests. I'm not going to go into the spread of fusarium in cash crops or orchid nurseries, but yes, there has been a lot of research into fusarium. I will say it does not make pretty reading. My thoughts are you have a 50-50 chance of purchasing an orchid with fusarium. So it's easier for me to just treat all new acquisitions. There are several types of Fusarium species that can affect orchids. Often more than one species can affect any particular nursery. The best way to prevent the spread of Fusarium is through good management practices. Unfortunately, Fusarium thrives in pH levels that most orchids prefer. But it's not all bad news. So while this is crop-based data, it should still be able to apply to orchids as the mechanism is the same. Nitrate, as opposed to nitrite, can help improve resistance. When nitrate is absorbed by the root, the root releases bicarbonate. This raises the pH slightly around the root. Nitrate also helps increase the lignin content of the cell and improves the nit nutrient uptake. Soils that had low levels of phosphorus, calcium, magnesium, or zinc had plants more severely affected. Whether this was because it, the plants were healthier with these elements in the soil or that the uh, fungi did not like these elements is still unknown. There have been several attempts to breed resistant vanilla uh, vanilla planifolia was bred with other more resistant species of vanilla. Currently, they are still trying to develop resistant varieties of vanilla planifolia. The best way to deal with fusarium is through exclusion. I try my best to isolate all new plants until I can treat or test them for pests and disease. So, why did I choose this particular fungicide? It has uh, tabiconazole, which has been proven to be 88.9% effective against fusarium and garlic. Not an orchid, but we have a very limited number of fungicides in the UK. Uh, tabiconazole is a triazole and inhibits the uh, egg ergosterol synthesis in fungi. So the fungi maintain cell wall be found in some ready-made fungicides. I'm considering buying and using the ready-made Provento Fungus Fighter Plus, mainly because it has both Tabuconsole and Trifloxystrobin. Both have been shown to be effective against Fusarium and plants. So, this is my Brassia Viracosa. I have had it for a little over a year. While it did flower well, I have been unhappy with the root growth. So this is how and what I decided to use on my orchids. First. I filled the container with 8 liters of water, and then I wet the plant. The instructions for this particular fungicide says to make sure the roots are wet first. So as I intend to soak the entire plant, I'm wetting the entire plant first. So I cut the orchid in two because when I cut all the uh, infected areas of the plants, this is what I was left. I will put the orchid aside, mix the fungicide, and let it soak for a minimum of 12 hours, sometimes 24. I have used this, ma this method on Cattleyas and on Zidian types with no ill effects. So I uh, shall leave it and let it soak and see you on the other side. Okay, I still have a few blooms on my on Zidian sweet sugar. Still look quite nice. Uh, buds on my uh, Dendrochylum tenilium. 
Some of them are starting to go brown. Anyway, and the but last but standing on my uh, Catlia Machina. Yeah, Hero Yuli. But of course, my Latoya still looks lovely. And this is my Cat Lee and the Jewel Box Dark Waters. It was one that was after for a while. I bought it about two years ago as a seedling. So, And this is its first time blooming for me. I'm quite pleased with it. The uh, color is a lot deeper than it's showing. And the lip is like a dark velvet. Dark red velvet. Almost burgundy, I would say. I haven't detected any scent so far, but I'm really happy and pleased with it. Anyway, that's all I have time for today. Thank you for spending time with me. And I'll, uh, in my next video, I'll share the second treatment of my uh, Brassia varicosa. Thank you for spending time with me. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye. Thank you.